Hello everyone, this is Sitspawn, and I am back for part 9 of my Roman Spectrum 2.5 Pontus Let's Play. Now, last turn I ended off killing some free people over here by Heraclea, I believe. And my army's seen a little better days, especially a couple of these units of Thraktai. But for the most part, they're pretty intact, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and <clears throat> move ahead in conquering Heraclea here. Elsewhere, uh, I just got done watching about the last half of my previous episode to kind of refresh me. And I think I've pretty much spent all my money for the turn. Let's check my agents. Yeah, they can definitely still move here. And I don't remember if I made contact with the Kimberly, so let me actually check my relations with them just so I don't waste movement points. And nope, it appears I'm still neutral. No trade information or map rights or... Or trade rights and map information would probably be more correct there. Oh, and start the script. <sighs> Alright, so give trade rights. And see if we can't swap map information. They're so far away. I'd, I'd like to see where they are, but it won't matter if they know where I am. They accept. Perfect. And lo and behold, they are expanding to the east. It always seems that the, uh, the rebel stacks over there tend to be a little weaker and thinner. So they go that way because right down here in central Germany, central Europe here, the rebel stacks can get ridiculous. There's just so many rebel settlements all combined there. that They just pump out stacks like crazy, and they can often be far stronger in that single area than most other nations on the game. But anyways, let's move along here. We still have the boy, and we probably talked to them down in Italy, I believe. And it looks like we talked to the Dacians... The Thracians are way over here. Let's just kind of wander around. We'll head back down this way. <clears throat> and we have my spies here. One's in Scythia, and one other one's down here in Caria. <clears throat> Let's go to the one in Scythia here for the moment. And... We could keep exploring around this way and just come back through Armenia, I guess. Let's do it. This area isn't immediately important to us, but we do have Trapezus, and we'll probably be going after Cates here fairly soon, so it may become of more interest to us fairly soon. <coughs> okay. And I think we don't have a whole lot more to do. Let's take a look at this army here really quickly. I really don't want to merge units, so I'm probably just going to have him sit back during this battle, but I do think we have probably enough to take on, what's it, Heraclea? I might try to starve them out, since I am somewhat weakened. But uh, let's just besiege them. And next turn, if they don't sally out, we'll be able to see what they have. If they do sally out, well, that's great. That should be much easier to take them out if they do. Yeah, not really a lot we can build here. But, I will just go ahead and build this guards and patrol posts here. Those law buildings can come in handy later. And, that will be the end of this turn. Oh, I did not move him, but he's moving on its own. Perfect. Get a little better look at what Pergamon's up to. <coughs> and when we get around to taking them, that will be fantastic. Pergamon is extremely wealthy. So taking their lands and the southern coast owned by the Ptolemies here will hugely boost our economy when we get around to that. Money problems will definitely be a thing of the past. Once, once you hold pretty much all of Anatolia, you're pretty damn rich. And if we go after Greece at some point, that'll be even more so. Both of them are huge money makers. Now we do have a couple sluiced stragglers here, but I'm not worried about them at all. So let's go ahead and move this army out of Apamea here. And move the garrison in. <coughs> and they're reasonably happy. Let's lower the taxes. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. No, 200 denarii. And 
we do need to make the population happy, but really quickly I want to get some improved roads. That way we have better troop transportation and trade, both of which are quite important at this stage. Um, let's see. We still have about a little under 13,000 left to build with. So we have Satala, Mazaka, Sinope. Tarsus and Antioch. Now I want to build an Antioch or Ant Antioch, yeah, yeah, as they call it here. I'm just going to call it Antioch. Easier on my brain and tongue. Now I, mean, I still have decent recruitment options here, and I'm not like planning on expanding further this direction for now. So I'm going to leave that military training facility alone. This would be expensive, but could be quite handy. See what difference it makes. Um, I don't think it's worth it yet, <clears throat> but I will want to build those tax buildings later. Now the mines could be quite useful. Yeah, that's going to give me another 1620 per turn and up my trade a little bit, so that's most of my money gone, but that should be well worth it. I mean, it only takes four turns to build, and it costs me nine thousand. So yeah, it's gonna be paid off in under, and yeah, I'm about five turns or so at max, and then it'll just be pure profits from there. Alrighty, I really don't think there's a whole lot more to do this turn, except for move my agents around again. So this will have been a pretty quick turn. Alright, you just keep scouting up. Pergamon's position here. Moving. Moving. Scordium. Oh, it looks like they took... Moving. It's not in Kyra in this mod. Tavion, that's correct. Still Galatia there, but... Alrighty. Move my diplomat, and that should basically be the turn once I move my last spy over in Sarmatian lands. I'm not really sure what I want him to do, so I'm just going to have him kind of head back towards our lands. <clears throat> we could get map information from the boy while we're still here. I'll think about it. doesn't really matter. It's just nice to have your gray, boring map filled in, so you can kind of see what the other factions are doing. So let's go to my last spy. Okay, and let's end the turn. <sighs> Sorry, if you notice the recording cutting away every once in a while, I'm trying to uh, cut out me coughing because I, from what I watched in the last video, that was kind of annoying, even for me, so... I'll try to be better about that. <laughs> Rooms allied with Carthage, Dacia and the Bilge, and Macedon and Sparta. Macedon and Sparta is the only one really close enough to matter to us, but we're still not involved with either of them yet. Okay, yeah, they have a... Let's see, three, four Agima, and two Hoplites of Pergamon. It's a decent heavy infantry component. Lots of light infantry and some decent calf, heavy and light. So I definitely think we're going to continue with the strategy of starving them. These turns will go pretty quickly if we do anyways, most likely, so not a problem. Let's give government determination to Sinope. <coughs> and we already have it down here in Tarsus. And while I'd like the money occupying would give us, making that an autonomous city would really help us with the happiness problems we're having. So I think we'll do that. Yeah, it'd give us an extra... I thought it said it gave us more than that. Well, we must have been 5 down from something already because it's only showing 15. Either way, 15% extra happiness is quite helpful. 
and Amasia. I always like to build at the capital whenever possible, just because it is our most productive region and will be quite some time. <laughs> now, we're only at 145, but it's probably not going to get much worse. We might get another 10% from Squalor, and it'll cap out, and we'll lose some of our garrison bonus. So let's go ahead and get some population growth measures going there. More population is always good if you can keep it under control. We're going to build government determination here as well. Everyone in our empire is going to know what their place is as soon as we get around to building these, that is. Everyone in our empire is going to be ready to know what their place is at least. That much I will say. Mazika, you're pretty happy. Let's just give you a level 2 Temple of Demeter. Actually, no, we need to save money for retraining this army, so cut that off. Okay, now we need to see what units we can retrain here. So I don't think we can retrain our Arakatai here. So, I know we can retrain these guys, though. So let's get all of them into Mazika. Perfect. Um, yeah, that'll work just fine. You guys just go ahead and go up here to Amasia. And we'll have to swap out the garrison here to make space, no big deal. Yeah, you guys just hold the bridge. <clears throat> and I wonder if we can get them up to Amasia. Yes, we can. Oh, is that? Yeah, there we go. And then all we have left here is that one arch unit that's basically full strength anyways, so one turn and that will be retrained all the way. Now I still do have a little bit of money. Just wanted to be sure though, so let's go ahead and put that temple back up. We have just enough. We have my agents yet again. Now if we don't stumble upon a boy city, I'm not going to stick around looking for it, but if we happen to see one on the way, that's cool too. Nope, don't really see one. Yes, my lord. To you, I do kind of want to see who's owning Sertica right now. Oh, that's Sertica's further this way. Whatever. Alrighty. Looks like no one holds Campus Legay yet. Oh, the Armenians really haven't expanded north at all into these free city settlements. That's good for me though. As long as they don't start attacking my borders instead, that's good at least. And I really don't think there's much for this guy to do. Except for maybe see if there's any more free people armies in the area, which I don't see. I think we did a pretty good job of clearing them out. Alrighty, that is once again the turn. Oh, the Ptolemies are trying to bribe me. Go figure. As long as I don't get to my diplomat and bribe him away, I'm happy. Some of the campaigns I play, I cannot keep a diplomat around for more than two or three turns before he gets bribed. So I really hope that doesn't start happening here. Okay. Mage needs something new again. Let's see, I do want to start building them 
Yeah, let's get that. I want something that's going to increase their happiness without removing too much of a tax bonus for them. So nope. We'll go ahead and build paved roads here. Mozik is still building. Okay, I think Satal is our only place that's not building right now, so let's get them something. <sighs> let's give them a level 2 Temple of Ares, that way we can unlock some more temples there. And our army in Mazika should be ready, but the question is where do we send them? <clears throat> I don't really still want to start a new war until I have this settlement taken. And then I can concentrate both my armies on one area at a time. And the real question, I guess, is whether I should go for the Ptolemies down here first or Pergamon up here. Now, I think Pergamon's going to have more armies to fight as they're going to all be in this one area. And we'll be fighting the emergency stacks and everything. Whereas I don't really think we're going to be fighting the emergency stacks from the Ptolemies. And they shouldn't have more than an army army or two up here, max, plus any garrisons. So, I think we'll go up to the Ptolemies first, for sure. So we'll just have this army ready and waiting, but not actually doing a whole lot quite yet. So we'll just take a second to get him back together. Trying to remember everything I had there. I had to have had more heavy infantry than that. At least I would have thought. Huh. Nope. Okay. Is he along with this army? I don't even know. We'll find out. If not, he's leaving. <clears throat> I don't think he was. He most definitely was not. Some of those skirmishers might not have been either, but we'll see. So all these guys still need to fit in. And I still don't have my general here, so yeah, some of those skirmishers must not have been here. Yep. So let's go ahead and take two Scythian skirmishers. Oh yeah, they weren't even all the way trained up, it looks like. Send him there. And him. Alright, so that army's ready. Let's just go ahead and take care of these rebels. I'm probably just going to auto-battle this. I know we haven't had a battle yet, but that's not even worth the time. Yeah, I lost 19 guys. whoop de doo Victory! And we'll just keep you in the area for now, army. You guys will be fighting in a few more turns. Sir. Sorry this is kind of dull waiting for this battle here. Okay, Dacia did get that one already. Yes, ma'am. Armenia still hasn't taken Cote, so that's good news. I kind of want to just keep them somewhere where they can watch out for invasions, but we'll see. Yes, master. Moving into position. Moving into position. Okay. Or you could just go where I tell you to go. Whatever. Just stay here and watch what's going on, I guess. All right, let's end the turn. Yet again. <clears throat> oh, a new general is in Amasia. Perfect, right where he needs to be. Don't know why I had to retrain him, but whatever. 
a major Mazakan Appa Mayor ready to build. So let's do that really quickly. Oh, we need to put the garrison back in Amasia while we're at it. And I wonder how much the mines are going to give me here. Not really worth it. Unfortunately. Oh, the Palacer should be another good one for public order with no penalty. So let's build that. Mazika, what do you want? What cries out for you? You're also not going to be that great with share crop mining, it looks like. Your public order isn't terrible. Just build you trying to Hermes to get some more money coming in. Er, Hades, that's a tax bonus. Where else needed it? Was it Satala? No. Apamea. And you will get Tribal Justice. And hey guys, I'll be right back here. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. A little bit of an interruption there. And is there anything left to do? Sir. Oh yeah, there is. A little bit. Yes, my lord. We are still allied with Macedon, that's good. We're still technically allied with the Ptolemies too, but we'll keep that up until it's time to end our alliance. Okay. So now we still need to build, or do we just have leftover money for once? We do. Perfect. Alrighty. Move my spies, and then we'll end the turn. Come fill in this void, I guess, in our information. Oh. And he got stopped short. Did he die, or what's going on? No? Oh, there he is. I'm blind. Good to know. Alright. Now it's in the turn. <clears throat> this has been pretty uneventful. I'm surprised the uh, garrison in Heraclea just didn't sally out at me. Not that they'll have a choice here in a few turns. I mean, they, they could. They could just surrender, but where's the fun in that? Now is the time to be glad we have that extra money. Trapezus grew. And they're a decent recruiting center already. I wonder if these guys have shield wall. They do. I need to get some of these guys at some point. Shield wall is extremely useful. Let's go ahead and build up some tribal justice for the moment though. Mazika. Mazika, Mazika, what to do with you? I kind of want to occupy the region, but I want to make it a little happier before I do. So let's give it a Temple of Zeus. Oh, so Tala has grown. I did not see notification for that, but whatever. Antioch. What resources do you have? You have textiles. You do have wine. So what we will do is we will give you this building, which should be quite handy. Yeah, not bad. That'll that'll go up. But what we did there is we built them Oh, it's glitching on me. There we go. The wine, olive oil trade or production and if you have either wine or olive oil in that province it will give you a fairly significant boost to your taxes. Now last of all we have Apamea and they will get something I'm sure. Let's give them a Temple of Zeus here. That's all my money for the most part. 
And back to the familiar routine, move the agents. We'll get him over here by the Ptolemies. You can kind of check out the garrisons. Uh, a lot of cavalry and light units, but not much in the way of heavy infantry there. Almost nothing there. Looking pretty good so far. <clears throat> okay. I'm not sure why there's still this blank black spot here, but maybe that's just this rebel territory. Yeah. Not the gray. That's what's confusing me. And Armenia does own our Samosata here. Okay. Let's go ahead and end the turn. I'm not really worried about my other spy. And, okay, yep, so this next turn they will either sally out and we'll have a battle or they'll just surrender boringly. I now officially have a client ruler in somewhere. Where's that at? Tarsus. All right, because I just made them a client state. So what that means is he's now a client ruler. If I take him away and put another, another um, governor there who is a ruler of a next region the populace will be extremely unhappy with me they'll start getting all kinds of unhappiness um, penalties and probably have some revolts and stuff so make sure we keep a client king there while we have it as a client state I guess for anyone who's played something like Europa Barbarum that should be pretty pretty familiar to you but kind of new if you haven't played any similar mods. Now, who needs new buildings? Everyone, yay! That's happy, right? Not really. Okay. Amazia, you get priority. Oh, rebels. Have fun dying in a moment. Hmm. Not even sure what I want to build here right now, honestly. Well, instead of wasting your time, I am going to decide what I want to build all these places, and I will come back and let you know. Okay, I'm back. All that really happened is uh, I got the second level tax building here in Amasia. And then a few other places got some basic happiness buildings. So let's go ahead and take care of these rebels. And once again, I know we'd love a fight. Not going to get that one, but we will have one. If not this turn, then there will be, yeah very soon because we have some visitors Antiochus the third the Seleucid national leader is coming to say hello to Antioch for some reason you know it's kind of a messy breakup situation they didn't want to see Antioch go Antioch wanted to go it happens I'm just gonna make a few units of slingers here I think the rest of our garrison is pretty good, but we will go down and, you know, you got to welcome guests. What are we if not civilized men? And, move my agents and I think we're ready to fight it out at Heraclea. Sweet, no garrison here too. This is going to be a cakewalk. Okay. Well, they are still gathering forces over here near Mic Nicomedia, but as long as they don't advance there too soon, we should be all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a quick save as I haven't saved recently, and we're probably gonna be having some battles here. So 
Let us end the turn and get ready for the fun. Finally. Long overdue. Oh. Those cheeky, cheeky bastards. That's, I'm, g I'm uh, glad I'm sending my army that way. They skipped Antioch entirely and went to Tarsus. Oh. And the free people are sallying out indeed. So, let's massacre them, shall we? <clears throat> Alright, now I need to drop all these battering rams very quickly. Alright, you guys... Set up right here as quick as you can. This is always fun and hectic getting set up for the Sally. Archers. Oh, you're on a hill, so just get right here and turn fire at will on. You guys, just for the moment, come right here. Uh, not you, weak one, but you just kind of back up. So you and you get right here. Let's see, just get these guys on their way up here. Alrighty, sorry if I'm not talking much here, I'm just trying to concentrate and get everyone in the position. back up. I think we've pretty much got everyone moving for the most part. So for my elites here, they'll just be in reserve. Alright, my phalanxes are in position, so let's put them into phalanx formation. Get them lined up a little better. And we're going to put them on guard mode and fire at will. Same on this side. And it's not really... Oh, okay. They're moving their cavalry out on the left. So let's just give them a nifty little surprise here. Honestly, I'm not even sure what my archers are firing at right now. Uh, well, as long as they fire into that mass of people, they can't really go wrong, I guess. And they're just kind of sitting there. Oh, they're skirmish cav. Let's move my archers onto them for just a second. Thin them out a little bit. Eh, no, cancel that. What we will do... We'll just let them get a little closer, and then we'll shoot them. We have horse archers, they should be able to make quick work of them. And we're already giving pretty good casualties, they've lost 12% and I don't think we've lost anyone for the most part yet. Okay, yep, those guys are already retreating, let's turn fire at will off of them, I don't want to waste all our arrows. They're not really a threat and we have a general's bodyguard, it looks like, coming up this direction as well. We'll just wait for him. Alrighty. I'm going to double speed this for a moment, just because nothing's really happening. Oh, they have catapults in there. If they start firing those, that could be messy. But it looks like they're too busy dancing right now. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, pathfinding an AI. Alright, just continue to rain down arrows on them, that's fine. And as soon as they attack, they'll be doomed, but they're kind of...
kind of taking their sweet time to get there, that's for sure. Oh no, don't waste your javelins on them. That's bad. No, I turned fire at will off. Wow. They weren't that units javelins, whatever. Alright, you know what? Screw this. I'm sick of waiting. We're gonna go pay them a beating, as Vegeta would say. Oh, now you want to move around, huh? We'll see about that. I don't know what they're doing up here. Guess I forgot to move them. And let's say hello to this unit of Phrygian cavalry here before we can get a side charge on my guys. And downhill flank charge should tear them to bits. And what do you know it is? Get some fun close-ups here. Oh yeah, and it looks like they are moving in to challenge me on this side. So let's say hello. Move them into about here. I do want to leave one of these flanks open so I can get some cavalry charges, but we'll go ahead and move in here regardless. Oh, that tower is probably the only thing getting kills on this cavalry right now. Yep. Hurry up and take them out and get out of here. Oh yeah, he's even leading them away from the cavalry for me. Let's turn the fire at will off. It's a waste. Oh, never mind. That should be the end of that, General. Eh, either way. He'll die sooner or he'll die later. He's dead either way. These guys are still not moving. Let's take guard mode off and just start crushing them. There that goes, that general. Move my general over here to support. These guys can just chill right about here. I think we're going to hit them with skirmishers from this angle over here. Yeah, they should be their shieldless side. Wow. The enemy really did not want to take the initiative in this battle, even though it was a sally out battle. That's alright. They give up the initiative, time for them to die. <clears throat> Alrighty. Go ahead and start throwing your javelins here, guys. And let's watch them just crumble. Oh, that cannot feel good. I don't know what they're running from. Oh, skirmish mode's still on. Either way, doesn't really matter. We've still only lost about 2% and they've lost 64. So that's going pretty well regardless. 
I've got my elites over here just kind of hacking into their max on this side, just keeping the pressure up. Oh, sweet, we've got a route going. Let's take advantage. Perfect. Let's compound the situation here. Awesome, I think we've got a total train route going. If we can take out these catapults before anyone reaches the city square, the city should be ours. Oh yeah, they've got a ways to go to get here. This, this is the most direct route. Hopefully none of them recover from routing. Oh crap, we have these guys too. Let's send two units of cavalry that way to take them out as well. I don't know why our cavalry is in loose formation. Quickly guys, come on. Oh, and those catapults finally started firing. Lovely. Now we really need to take them out pronto. Guys, get the heck out of the way. Okay, good. That unit's routing. Now, for the love of God, get over here and attack these guys. I need them to route now. They're almost at city square. Oh, shh. Come on. Guys, really? You're killing me here. Route. Route. You're dead. Just route. I promise it'll all be over. Oh, too late. Dang it. You know, I didn't even bother chasing these. Oh, some of them already came back from routing anyways. All right. We can still deal with this just fine. They're basically a beaten force already at this point. Okay. Okay, let's take care of these guys. Yeah, they really didn't get much back inside the city here, so... Still kind of disappointing. Let's open this gate for my cavalry over here. These guys will go and start walking this way. These guys should die fairly easily. Well, maybe not. They're Gimas, but they're way outnumbered. Let's try to run these guys behind them. That should speed up their braking. Come on. Surround them. Seriously, so run this way, guys. That's all you gotta do. Okay, there they go. Perfect. Now, considering this is a battle where they have to sell out, I'm kind of surprised they're just sitting back here. But it shouldn't really matter in the end. Oh, no, they're just rushing this way. Let's say hello. Now, these are spearmen, but they are exhausted, and these guys are pretty heavily armored, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's try to run through them and break their line here. And there should be a route. Yep. Just do the same thing right here. Oh, wow, those are heavy peltas. They shouldn't last long at all. Nope. Perfect. Alright, 
I'm going to speed this up, guys. This is kind of pointless. Right as I say that, they all start attacking. I'll just go double speed. This shouldn't be hard to deal with. Oh, I swear I had those gates open. They didn't come through. Whatever. Just die, guys. I can retrain you. Just want the battle to be over. You guys get in here now. Alright, almost done here. I believe this is our last unit, so everyone, pile on, have some fun. And, they're, oh, not the last unit, thought it was. And this should be. Yep. <sighs> well, we really didn't take that many casualties, all things considered. So, not bad. Yeah, 73 guys. I'll take it. I don't even feel like I'm playing on hard right now with these guys. Alrighty, and it looks like it's definitely not happy, so let's go ahead and depopulate. And I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode here, but I'm going to keep recording, so I expect another episode up soon after this one. So, thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you next episode.